Hi, this is Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I have Birds and Butterflies Colouring for Mindfulness book to review. Now Colouring for Mindfulness have a number of books out um, so just look for them in the playlist below. I've reviewed their books um, previously. One thing I love about this book is the inside cover. They've got that lovely yellow on the, the fold where you could cut that picture out and also on the inside cover there's all those lovely butterflies that you could also cut that image out as well. So I really like the front and the back cover because they're both colourable and um, you could repurpose that and actually frame it or give it to somebody so it's a really really nice feature. Now like so many of the colouring books um, at the moment this book um, has a where's Wally type theme as well so you meant to go through it and hunt for objects like keys and jewellery um, or even a, a seal or a dragon throughout the book um, amongst the birds and the butterflies. Um, the end the answer to these, uh, where, where these items are, are located at the end of the book, which is the common scenario with these Where's Wally type books, as I call them. Now, there's a range of birds amongst the books. You'll find some birds have more detail on them than others. Um, and again, that gives you an opportunity as a colorist to decide how much detail or how much work you want to put in each image. Now, a lot of the images are doubled up over the pages, meaning the left page and the right page are pretty well similar, um, but most of the images across the pages are quite different. So if you did want to colour in one, um, you know that you've still got the other image on the other side. So because they're double-sided, you've always got to make that sort of choice. So because they've been duplicated in most respects, then it sort of makes it a bit easier for you to choose which image you want to keep. Um, so I hope you enjoy the following flip through of Birds and Butterflies and let me know what you think of it in the comments below.